Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We're on to the divisional round now. Two steps away from playing on the biggest stage in sports. It's the Cardinals going up against the Panthers. And we welcome all of our viewers inside a place that the folks around here like to call the Vault. And that's Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Coming up, an important divisional round matchup in the NFC between the Arizona Cardinals and the Carolina Panthers. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. God, 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 God. They'll run with a former Tar Heel, TJ Logan. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall right around the 26. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get them into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal game. They'll look to throw here. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. And a great spot to start this drive from here. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. Kaiser now on second down. Flushed out right. And he'll go down at the 28. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. I think we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. From the shotgun, it's Kaiser. And a third down pass falls incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and the Panthers stake claim to a 3-0 lead. So after the pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, most of us wanted to focus on the offense. You know what side of the ball I played on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Taking it over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Back on up, Billy, here we go. All right, now, lock at 56. Here we go, lock now. 56. They'll run it now, out of the gun. It's a foot race. Pass the 20. 10. Touchdown, Cardinals. 
A great play there. 57 yards. And the Cardinals have taken the early lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. So second down, three yards to go now. To throw is Kaiser. Now they go screen. It's complete. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Black Brown! Black Brown! Let's go! They go play action here on first down. It's caught on the right side. Williams. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. To the air again, Kaiser. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Partner, we had their game last week where they had six sacks, so a little bit more momentum here again in the first quarter. And last week it appeared that they were coming out of sprinter's blocks, chasing the quarterback. So how do they continue that? How do they keep making it happen? Different looks, different disguises, different angles that they chase it. They were so disruptive last week. We'll see what the trend is here as we go forward. A very solid gain of 27. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here we go. Second down, Kaiser. And this is incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Let's go! One, two, Kaiser now. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And good pressure defensively to stop him for a loss of a couple. Now there's also a flag to go with it. his way forward here for a good little gain. Four yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. 
We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. They go play action. Kaiser. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Just the first quarter of a tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it, <laughs> it would have been, been a different story. long night. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. But they'll be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game. And that'll get them halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit. And he's going to ball his way in for a Panther score. A great effort there. A three-yard touchdown run. And his guys are able to strike for six. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of the times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They'll run it here with Logan. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. They run again with Logan, and this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Let's go! 
Now a second down throw for Kaiser. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Now a play fake here on first down. And this will be caught at the 30. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. Fresh set of downs here. Black Brown, Black Brown. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's gonna fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. It's good to make it 17-7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And some room to roam now. And he makes it all the way down to the 13-yard line. A big-time play there by the Cardinals. 56 yards. here losing yardage back to the 16 a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down Brandon that was not a highlight play for the offense but how about the previous play a big run they're used to trading that especially if you're a Hall of Fame runner big run maybe not so much on the next one but the big ones add up over time Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Throw left side complete. It's Logan. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground, and the Panthers have recovered. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. 
catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Now Kaiser. And he fires one incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the intended target. And it's second down. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. And they give this time to the tailback. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Well, usually you don't think of the cornerback coming in for a no-gain play, but that's what we had there. Nice tackle. Yeah, and how about the range, too? Coming from the outside part of the play, moving his way into the inside and making that play happen. No gain for the offense. Big play for the defense. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. side here and he'll fight forward to about the 27 yard line just a yard on the first down carry so it's second and nine nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down well played I must say yeah only getting one yard there was no room to run and now whistles and a flag and I think we got a jump here so a jump there defensively it's a killer watch the football don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. They'll throw here. Kaiser firing quickly here, and that's complete. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back with more NFC playoff action after this. now to throw on first down. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. He got 29 yards that time. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Here's Kaiser. They'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Now, that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second-guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So distance not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. 
No such luck there for him. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Over the middle to Evans. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off here, the 32. He's at the 30. The 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Now that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What do you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Watch it now, Barney. Forced out to his left. And it's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Panthers. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. Hold that thought, Mr. Ridley. We've got a trip to the title game on the line. Folks are eager to get right back to the action. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And the offense moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second and 12. Let's go! To throw, Kaiser. Man open left side, it's Williams. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Shift together here from the D-line. Throwing again is Kaiser on second and 10. Escaping the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. 
Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. They'll throw again. Kaiser finding his safety valve here. That's complete. Given seven on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like Watch in the half? Right, because tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Let's go. 319. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Evans. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. to throw now on first down. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front it buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Play action. They'll throw. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Detroit! Detroit! side here and that's complete thought they were going to force a fourth down instead P.I. gives him the first and that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count haven't you instead you've got to start all over that can really really be demoralizing on first down he'll drop to throw being chased out left and seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. And on second and ten now. On 
second down. There's the option going left. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. He lost four there, and it's third down. And on this play, the read for the quarterback was the defensive end, and he was totally focused on the quarterback. He should have given it off inside to the running back. Instead, he kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll look to throw here. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl, Luke Kinkley that picks it. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. This has been one mistake after another on the offensive side of the ball. That's now three interceptions to go along with two fumbles for him. And if you're going to turn the ball over five times in a game, your chances to win have to be about 100 to 1. And it's not looking good for him here. Now a handoff looking right. Oh, some strong running. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Come on, let's go! Cut. Kaiser now on second down. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Let's go! Brad, let's, let's roll! Let's roll! Oh, let's go! They'll run it now out of the gun. And oh, a good hit there and knocked down hard. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. But you know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Here we go. Brad 38. Brad 38. From the shotgun, it's Kaiser. And that is incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. The Panthers on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and nine. From the gun, Kaiser. Eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And look out, a big hit to the shoulder pads took him right off his feet at the 33. While you admire anyone trying to pick up an additional couple of yards, they're just not worth it when you take shots like that. Quarterbacks have to stay in the game and stay on the field. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, and it's still a good size lead, so they haven't necessarily needed him, but this is now two missed field goals for him in this game so far. Yeah, and the question now is, will he be prepared when they do need him? Whether that's later in this game or sometime down the line, having a kicker you can count on is definitely imperative. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. in in motion. Over, 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 over. Detroit, Detroit. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking middle and that's complete. A good gain of 14 there and it moves the chains. One thing I can say pretty safely. That route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. They run with Logan. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. 
And we're back now in Charlotte. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. Here we go with second and seven. to throw flush to his right and brought down but not before they're inside the 25 a nice job there on the escape and scramble a first down a 16 yard gain so here we go first and 10 now They'll look to throw. He's to the 10. This will be caught inside the 10. And he will be brought down at about the 6-yard line. 16 yards there. Two straight plays of 16 yards and another first down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Looking to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the second down. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks at the six-yard line. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. They gotta have six here. It's third and goal. Detroit! Detroit! Now let's go! Green! Leopard! Leopard! No, 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 no. Check! Patriot! Patriot! They'll drop the throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues oh, to slip go. just further and further out of hand. Now a handoff here to his running back. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying it around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Ohio! Ohio! Flex round! Flex round! Kaiser to throw it. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there of 20 yards. It's lining up first and ten. Here we go. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Go. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. The Panthers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. They're up against a third and one situation. And again, this time to the tailback. 
call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So a change of possession here on the punt. The Cardinals will take over at their 20-yard line. So out now come the Cardinals. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come over with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. to throw now on second and ten to Shepard complete over the middle and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs back to throw now on first down flushed out right Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. The Cardinals on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 10. All right, here we go. Blue lady. Blue lady. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. Complete. The contact made the ball roll free and brings up fourth down. My high school coach John Ford used to say all the time, if you're in a bad situation, laddie, don't compound it with a bad decision as well. And I think that's what we just saw there. Harassed in the pocket, and he throws into double coverage anyway. He called you laddie? He called me laddie, and that was the nicest thing he called me. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. up there it's incomplete they had to go for it with such little time remaining and the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit now a handoff here to his running back and he's brought down but not before reaching the eight yard line 23 yards on the pickup there and a first well, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. The offense on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and goal.
And they have secured a spot in the conference championship. And now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future.